What's up lads, Josh here and welcome back to another episode of FIFA 15 Potential January Transfers and this is episode 3. Thank you guys for all the support you've shown on every single episode so far. You guys really seem to be enjoying in this and uh, you know obviously just remember that this is all about transfer rumours you know. I'm just sharing my opinion on these transfer rumours. Some may happen, some will probably never ever happen but they are just transfer rumours. You don't have to go so in depth into it you know and start calling me a retard and you know what is football etc. Um, but yeah let's get straight into this but if you guys look for the cheap and the newest way to buy coins do be sure to check the link in the description for fifa coins land they're selling for five pound per 100k on the xbox and three pound per 100k on the playstation use the code josh at checkout for eight percent off but apart from that let's get straight into this video and let's start covering some players Moving on to the first player of this episode guys and it is a player that has been linked with this club many many times in the past and maybe this will happen in January, I'm really not too sure but it is a transfer rumour, maybe it will stay as a transfer rumour but the two linked teams at the moment are Arsenal and Liverpool for Edinson Cavani whether he will move, you know, whether he's living life at Paris Saint Germain, I am not too sure but um, this this has been on you know the cards for a very very long time and Arsenal of course do need a striker and so do Liverpool because Balotelli has not been bagging them in um, as they'd hoped and of course, uh, I, I don't think Danny Welbeck is the most pro you know prolific striker that Arsenal need. I think you know as they were going for Benzema, they were going Cavani, they were going for um, Higuain, they were going for all these you know big name strikers, and they ended up with Danny Welbeck. I mean, it's not you know the most desirable striker to get, and uh, maybe if they could get one alongside Danny Welbeck, that would be absolutely awesome. But I think Cavani, um, whether it will happen or not, I'm really not too sure. But it is a transfer rumor at the moment, and uh, the two linked teams are Arsenal and Liverpool. Moving on to the second potential transfer is also going to have Arsenal in it and it is going to be James McCarthy from Everton and it seems like this transfer could be off at the moment because Martinez says he thinks this guy is an Everton player all the way around. You know, they've purchased him for I think 13 million from Wigan. Was it last year or this year? I cannot remember. Um, but you know, that is a lot of money to pay for a sort of championship player and obviously they think that he's got great, uh, great talent in him and uh, that is what Arsenal will see in him as well and obviously they're going after him. Whether they will manage to pick him up or not, I'm really not too sure. Yeah, after after only being an Everton player for it's either half a year or you know a year and a half because I can't remember if he signed this year or last year. Um, but whether this will happen or not, I'm really not too sure. But it is a, a huge transfer uh, for Arsene Wenger. He's actually really looking um, to sign McCarthy. It seems like he's like the only bit of business that he wants to do in January as well. I mean, there hasn't been that many rumours other than Cavani and McCarthy at the moment. Maybe that maybe it'll happen. Maybe it won't. But um, I think it. I, I'm sort of interested to you know what your opinion is because I think he's going to sign. He's going to cost at least like 20, 25 mil and whether he's worth that, uh, that much or not, I'm really not too sure. Moving on to the next potential January transfer, we are going to talk about Danny Alves with a possible move away from Barcelona into England and there is three main linked sides at the moment. The favourites are Manchester United, the second favourites are Arsenal and the third favourites are Liverpool. So whether he will go to either of those teams, I'm really not too sure. But I think his contract runs out in summer, so I don't think people are going to quiet go for him in January. But you never know, somebody may pip the pipe and go for him for 15, I think he's worth like 15 to 20 mil and I would happily pay that for Danny Alves. He's got fantastic and, you know, he's got bags and bags of experience playing for Barcelona winning so many trophies and you know just possibly being one of the best right backs in the world maybe not you know recently he sort of dipped down a little bit in form um, in my opinion but I think he's still a fantastic right back and I feel like he's much better than Valencia and definitely better than Rafael so I would much rather see him than uh, Valencia at the moment but we'll have to wait and see what happens in January maybe we'll uh, have to wait uh, until summer to see him move club Moving on to the fourth potential transfer, we could be seeing Lovetsy go back to Napoli. Not too sure what's happened at P PSG. He seems to be playing in most of his games there as well, but um, apparently he's not liking the life there. Apparently he wants to go back to Italy and settle back down with Napoli because... Um, well, Liverpool are actually after him as well, but I feel like um, it's too strong on favourites now. I mean, you can bet on it. I think it's like um, I think it's actually odds on favourites for him to go back to Napoli now. Uh, I mean, Lovetsia could obviously still go to Liverpool, but in my personal opinion, I do think he will go back to uh, Napoli. It seems too strong on the cards right now for him not to go anywhere. I mean, maybe he'll go in the summer or maybe he'll go in January, but it seems like Napoli are trying to force it in January because they need him back. I'm not too sure um, where they you know where they stand in the in the league currently, but apparently they want him back and apparently they want him back in January. 
And moving on to the final potential January transfer for this episode, guys, we are going to be talking about David De Gea possibly leaving Manchester United to go to Real Madrid. I mean, it is a transfer rumour. Whether this will happen or not, I really, really do not think so. I think he's living life at Manchester United, his quotes, not mine, um, and, you know, he's fantastically on form at Manchester United. He says he feels loved at Manchester United, and uh, I, I, I mean, I love watching him week in, week out. He's a fantastic goalkeeper, really has matured into a just a sensational goalkeeper, could be uh, potentially one of the best in the world you know in time to come but of course I think Neuer and Courtois just pip him to the point at the moment but you know over time if he becomes a better goalkeeper and he gets better and better obviously you know no doubt what you know what's going to stop him because he seems like he's already getting to that point right now in his career but hopefully he stays at Manchester United I'm pretty sure he's going to be there for another you know two or three four more years uh, two or three four more years at least um uh, well I hope so anyway um but like I said seems to be loving life at Manchester United and I hope he doesn't move to Real Madrid in January Thank you guys for watching yet another episode of FIFA 15 Potential January Transfers. Remember guys, this is just for fun, you know. I'm just expressing my opinion on some of these transfer rumours. Some of them um, are complete bullshit and some of them, you know, could actually be quite real or realistic. Um, so I just want you guys to know that, you know, I'm just sharing my opinion on these transfer rumours. I'm not, you know, saying that these will happen. You know, a lot of people seem to under don't understand these videos, but... I don't know, some people do, some people don't, whatever. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you guys did enjoy it, leave a like, rate, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, at JustCover94. I will see you guys tomorrow with another video, and uh, 